Are you thinking about moving to Missoula, Montana and you want to know all about our marijuana laws? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the top six points that you need to know about smoking weed here in Montana. So let's get after it right now. Hey there, my name is Diana Filkins from Living in Missoula, Montana. I get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to move here to Missoula and the surrounding areas. So if you are moving in three days or three months, please reach out to me, call, text, email. My contact information is in the description box below. I would be absolutely honored to help you and your family move here to Missoula or Ravalli County. Now, let's just jump right into today's video because I get this question daily and it goes a little something like this. So, how's the weed in Montana? Well, considering we have dispensaries on literally every single block, I would say it's pretty darn good. So here in Montana, we have a very well established set of regulations for both recreational and medical marijuana uses. And here are the top six points that you need to know all things weed, Montana. Point number one, legal purchase and possession. Now adults age 21 or over can legally purchase and possess up to one ounce of marijuana or its equivalent in any other forms such as edibles and concentrates. Medical marijuana patients have different limits. They can possess up to five ounces per 30 day period and are allowed to grow up to four mature plants and 12 seedlings for personal use. Point number two on all things weed in Montana, sales and licensing. Montana's law permits the sale of recreational and medical marijuana at licensed dispensaries. The state has issued specific licenses to federally recognized tribes and allows these licenses to operate within a specified range from tribal lands. Now, adult use licenses are in initially reserved for locals, requiring applicants to have one year of Montana residency. Licenses are not transferable. Point number three, D limits. Now for recreational use, marijuana flowers can contain up to 35 DHC per package. Medical marijuana products are permitted to have higher THC levels. Point number four, taxes. Taxation. The state imposes a 20% excess tax on all marijuana purchases. Golly, there's a tax for everything. Rant over. <laughs> With the option for counties to add up to an additional 3% of local tax. Now, this is kind of a lot considering we have zero sales tax here. So, you gotta pay to play, huh? Tip number five cultivation and business operations. Now, Montana does not require vertical integration, allowing businesses to specialize in cultivation manufacturing or retail separately. The state also places certain restrictions on advertising and packaging to control the market's public visibility and influence. Number six, penalties. Uh, of course, you'll get in trouble if you don't follow the rules. Duh. There are specific, there are significant 
penalties for violations such as possessing over the legal limit or driving under the influence of marijuana. The fines and potential jail time escalate with the severity and frequency of offenses. So one of the frequently asked questions that I get as a realtor is when did adult use marijuana sales begin in Montana? Because it is generally a recent thing. It started January 1st of 2022. Um, previously licensed medical marijuana license holders are now allowed to sell to adults. So not even, so two years and some change, not that long ago. Another common question that I get is, is growing hemp permitted in Montana? And the answer is, yep. Hemp growers are licensed by the Montana Department of Agriculture. And in case you're wondering what you need to bring with you when you go to some of, we've got so many dispensaries all around town, Missoula County, Ravelli County, they're sprinkled in everywhere. So if you wanna visit one of those dispensaries, here's what you need to bring. Uh, all marijuana transactions are in cash due to ongoing federal restrictions on banking services for the industry. Want to bring some cash if you want to avoid the ATM fees at the dispensary. Now shops are required to put your purchase in plastic childproof exit bags um, on subsequent on your next trip that you come, you can bring the reusable exit bag um, that you can limit your waste and avoid paying for a new one. And especially during the open weeks of the recreational program, um, see so bartenders make you a drink at the bar. Well, at a dispensary that are called bud tenders. It makes this stuff up. Actually, there's this dispensary in town and I laugh every time I see their sticker because their marketing is amazing. You know, it's called Starbucks. Well, they there's a dispensary in town called Starbuds. I don't know why I think that's so funny. I think it's absolutely super clever. And their logo looks like the Starbucks logo um, or slightly different, but I think it's hilarious. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. That way I can bring more of Missoula's charm to you. It really does help out the channel. Just a couple, just a couple clicks. It's right down there. Just a couple clicks is so huge for this channel and it will just keep allowing me to produce more videos for you so that you know about all things Missoula, Montana, Missoula, and just Montana in general. Now you might also be wondering if the state, if the state will track your purchase or put you on a some sort of list, um, the how often you buy and you're a consumer of marijuana. Um, and the answer is no, no such list exists. And while a business can look at your ID to make sure you're at the right age and you say who you are, um, not gonna keep track of you. And just so you feel a little more secure, dispensaries are not allowed to share your information, sell it any kind, um, a third party. So they're not allowed to do that. So if you're trying to hide it from your boss, I think you'll be all right. So when you go into a dispensary, you will be able to purchase an array of products, including marijuana flower, which is the smokable green bud, edibles, tinctures, vaporized cartridges, and concentrates and topicals. Now these products are produced within the state of Montana, so you need the good shit and the local shit. So edibles can come in any form, including chocolates, gummies, infused olive oils, and more. Funny story about that, I was in downtown Missoula with my children and my mother, shout out to mom, and I opened the door because the sign said cookies on the front door and I was like, great, I would love to take my kids to the cookie store. Wrong kind of cookies. <laughs> we had just moved here, we were, it was, I don't know, a couple weeks after we had moved, wrong kind of cookies. <laughs>
<laughs> and the employee and I just laughed at each other and she's like, no, the actual cookie store is a couple doors down. So if you see a place that has the word cookies and then their logo is like a bright blue and like circles, not real cookies. Those are edible cookies. Those are for adults and the actual cookie store for children or just cookies, regular cookies, is just a couple doors down at Mary Mountain's Cookies. Their cookies are amazing, so definitely go to visit, but just so you know, are close to each other, they're on the same block in downtown Missoula. And jumping right in because I am a real estate agent helping people move to Missoula, Montana and River Valley County, but I get asked marijuana questions on the daily basis. So I feel like I need to read up and be in the know about all things Montana marijuana. So um, we will also be able to sell you CBD products. Now you will see CBD products sold at the farmer's market regularly. Um, the farmer's market does, year, does go year around. Um, the one in the spring, summer, and fall is outdoor uh, by the Clark Fork River, absolutely gorgeous. And then in the winter time, it does move inside the mall, which I think is a really cool and the vendors can still go there and you can still get your products, but you will see CBD products at the farmer's market. And um, CBD known as cannabidoli, I hope I said that right. Um, is derived from federally legal hemp and is sold in edible tinctures, topicals, and other forums. These products can be manufactured within Montana or hopefully some neighboring states. Um, it's a, now, is marijuana tested in Montana? And yes, yes, all products are tested for a wide variety of bacteria, mold, heavy metals, um, as well as potency and various compounds that they contain. Who knew? This is... Now, if you have any more questions about all things marijuana in Montana, I'm gonna leave a couple links down in the description box below because I am no expert in medical marijuana, recreational marijuana. So if you wanna know all the things, I'm gonna leave some links down below. That way you can do your own research. Um, this is for informational purposes only. I'm not a doctor, not a lawyer. It's for fun and informational purposes only. Do what you want with this information. And if you don't care about smoking weed, then don't. My name is Diana Philkins with Living in Missoula, Montana. I do get talk calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you hoping to make their smooth move to Missoula, Montana and the surrounding areas. So reach out to me, call, text, email, all my contact information is in the description box below. I would absolutely be honored to help you and your family make a smooth move here to Missoula, Montana. And of course, if you have any questions, any comments, I want to know. What do you think about medical marijuana or recreational marijuana here in Montana? How do these rules and regulations differ from the state that you currently live in? I would love to keep this conversation going down in the comments below. So until next time, take care.